Next is from Tibbs, thinking of starting eBay selling, any important tips? Hey guys, it's Monday, November 30th, and I have 17 eBay orders to ship out today. Let's get to work. All right, first thing is a Techniques amplifier. I've had it for quite some time, so don't completely remember where I put it. I'd say it's probably on one of these racks. It might be this one up here. Let's see. It's either this or that. Oh, man, this thing's heavy. All right, this is the one. Um, I got this maybe like six months ago. I've got only like $5 into it. I had it listed for like $50 or best offer because it's couldn't fully test it. Um, but I got an offer of $25 plus shipping, and I accepted. Next is an F4. These are a couple spark plugs. I've got 50 cents into the pair. They sold for $8.99 for shipping. Next is over in D2. This is a vintage ambulance jacket. I got this up in Cleveland for a dollar. Donald Martins and Sons. And then on both of the uh, shoulders, it's got ambulance patches. Just thought it was cool. I uh, figured somebody would want it because it's ambulance jacket, maybe for costume or collecting or whatever. This sold for $39.99 plus shipping. Next is in D3. This is a pair of Levi's women's jeans, new with the tags. Got a couple dollars into these. They sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Next down here in B6. It is this battery charger with the power adapter. Selling for my mother-in-law. This charges uh, batteries for metal detectors. This sold for $59.99 plus shipping. Next is an A5. It is this bowl right here that I recently picked up from Mike. Lake Crusade, uh, brand new. Sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Next thing is a dictionary. Let's see. I thought I had it right in here somewhere. Now I'm not sure where I put it. I think it might be behind this. Let's move this out of the way. Yeah, there it is. I got this at a garage sale about a month ago. I paid $3 for it. I actually found another dictionary at that sale that I already sold, and this one just now sold for $39.99 plus shipping. All right, next thing I'm shipping is three pennants right up here. Let's see, it's three New York Mets. Not that one, that's the Marlins. We got this one. Two of these are sticking together, here we go. Not the Giants, not the Marlins. Let's see this one and this one. So. Uh, somebody reached out to buy all three of these for $25 plus shipping, and I accepted. Your name John bought those. He says, thanks again, John. I appreciate all the knowledge you've shared, which has helped me with my own part-time selling. My eBay store is Quest DGW 718 I'd love a shout-out in your what's sold. Best wishes to you and your family. John, thank you so much for the business and the kind words. Really hope you like those pennants. Okay, I got something in B6 that sold. Another thing for my mother-in-law, it is this metal detector coil. I have this listed for $70 or best offer. Somebody sent me an offer of $60 plus shipping, and I accepted. Also, at a B6, I sold this Caterpillar oil filter uh, that I bought from Mike last week. That sold for $10.99 plus shipping. Another thing out of here that sold, this wire casing stripper, also something I got from Mike. Uh, this sold for $39.99 free shipping, and that is it for B6. Okay, next thing's a hat in B1. This is a New York Mets hat I got from the Mojo Casher crew. Got $3 into it, sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Next is a pair of shorts in D1. These are men's Wrangler shorts, new with the tags. Picked them up at a garage sale a couple months ago for a dollar. They sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Guess I could have stayed in D1. I sold a puzzle out of here. This is a Buffalo Rainbow City Vivid Collection puzzle. I had 50 cents into that, sold for $11.99 plus shipping. Your name Brian got this. Brian, thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it. All right, I'm pulling some more spark plugs back here in F1. These are a different model than the other ones I sold, but I also had 50 cents into these, and they also sold for, actually, no, I'm sorry, they sold for $9.99 free shipping, not $8.99. Sold something out of A1. This is an Hermes perfume soap case. I might be mispronouncing that. I've had this for about four or five months. Got about 50 cents into it. Sold for $17.99, free shipping. Your name's Sarah about this. Sarah, thank you for the business. It means a lot. Okay, last thing I'm pulling is this big Nerf gun. I got this at a garage sale around the end of September. I remember because um, Lonnie and Candace were in town. We were hitting some garage sales and I found this. Brand new in the box, I paid $20. It sold for $49.99 plus shipping. It's Wednesday morning, I got about 17 things to ship out. First is an E3. 
think I might have sold more than one thing out of here. Uh, first thing I know I sold is going to be in here. This is a little pamphlet for an F82 twin Mustang. Uh, something I got from Mike last week. This sold for $14.99 plus shipping. All right, actually that's it for E3. So we'll go ahead and put this away. Next is an E1. This is a metal detector search coil, something I'm selling for my mother-in-law. This sold for $64.99 plus shipping. Next is down in B6. Another metal detector related item it is this one right here. So White's a bullseye pin pointer. That sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Next is an E5. It is a little patch. Let's see here. I probably put it in a Ziploc bag. Yeah, it's going to be in here. These are the patches I got at an estate sale a couple months ago. I still have the Oreo Orioles in Red Sox. This Yankee one sold for $11.99 for shipping. Your name's Steve got this. Steve, thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it. So a couple things that are D7 and D8. I'll go ahead and pull D7. I believe it is this Gamora rock candy figure that sold for $9.99 plus shipping. And out of D8, I sold a Captain America figure. Let's see. This is Vision. It sold for $5.99 plus shipping. All right, next thing I'm pulling is a clock. And I don't think I put it in a bin because it was too big. Question is where I put it. Here it is. This is a Pittsburgh Steelers clock. Also something I got from Mike last week. This sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Your name's Zachary bought that clock and he's giving it to his brother. So Zachary, thank you for the business. Really hope your brother likes that clock. Next thing's an E1. This is a uh, Dungeons and Dragons PC game. Minzo Baranzen. I'm probably mispronouncing that. This is a pretty rare game. I listed it for around like 50 or 60 or best offer. Someone sent a best offer of $40 plus shipping and I accepted. I'm sure this will be pretty obvious to most of you guys, but if you ever see D&D stuff, uh, whether it's like books, you know, games or whatever, if it's cheap, pick it up. It always seems to sell pretty well. Next is in C1. This is a stopwatch. Uh, this was in a big box of stuff I got from Parker and Danny. It is a uh, Hewer Leonidas. I listed this for 60 or best offer. Somebody sent an offer of $40 free shipping and I accepted. Also in C1, I sold a book. Matter of fact, I think I sold two books out of there. First one is this 1882 Cambridge Book of Poetry. Um, I also took an offer of $40 plus shipping. And next is the Encyclopedia of Poetry. That one I took an offer of $25 plus shipping. Your name Bart bought this. He's going to give it to his wife as a Christmas present. So Bart, thank you so much for the support. Really appreciate it. And someone named Robert bought this. I'm almost positive he said he was a viewer when he sent the offer. So Robert, if you're watching this, thank you for the business. Hope you like the book. Next is down at A5. It is this right here. Also something I got from Mike. It's that uh, Hubble three-phase mail plug. Uh, still don't even really know what it does, to be honest with you. This sold for $59.99 plus shipping. Next is in C6. This is NBA Street Volume 2 for Xbox. Complete with the manual. That sold for $12.99 for shipping. All right, next thing is down at A5. This is a big lot of watches that I got from Parker and Danny. Decided to do some auctions on these. Um, three different lots of 50. This lot sold for $45 plus shipping. Next is an E2. Actually sold two things out of there, so I just went ahead and grabbed them both. First is the Sega Genesis Portable Game Player, something I got from Mike. This sold for $29.99 plus shipping. And the next thing is another metal detector search coil right here. Selling for my mother-in-law, sold for $64.99 plus shipping. Next thing is right behind me here. This is a teak wood file like storage system. It's meant for floppy disks, but it can be used for other things. Um, I only got a dollar or two into this. That sold for $19.99 plus shipping. It's Thursday morning, I have 17 eBay orders to ship out. But first, I want to answer some viewer questions. This first one is from Deer Hunter. Uh, thank you for the great videos. I opened an eBay store a couple of months ago and I've been selling for almost a year now. I have a question. Do you ever use the make offer on your listings? Uh, how would you use it if you do? Okay, so I'm gonna show you how you do that. So you go into your eBay app and you go into your uh, active listings and usually what I do is I'll sort by number of watchers. So it's gonna pull up the items with the most watchers and then you can see this little send offer icon. So if I wanted to, I would just tap that and it's gonna say, you know, what offer do you wanna send, what price? You just put that in, review offer, and it's telling you how many buyers you're sending that offer to. So 26 
interested buyers and that's how many watchers you have so it can be a good thing I've done it a number of times and I usually have like I'd say like a 10% success rate you know if I send out 10 offers then I might have like one person take up take me up on it so uh, yeah if you're trying to generate sales or just move old inventory it could be a good thing yeah definitely try it out next is from Tibbs thinking of starting eBay selling any important tips there's actually two replies to this uh, question that I thought were really good I wanted to share. Uh, Silverman says, don't guess about shipping costs. And Roy Hernandez says, start selling what you already have, personal items, have a scale, charge calculated shipping on large or heavy items, research completed listings to see what your item is selling for. That is all really good advice. Not guessing on shipping costs, like you definitely need some kind of scale, even if it's like a bathroom scale, you know what I mean? You can get a, a shipping scale for pretty cheap. But yeah, when you list your item, go ahead and weigh it. That, you know, that way it takes the guesswork out of it. You know what it weighs. Uh, if it's going first class mail and you're gonna ship it in a uh, bubble mailer, you know, add two ounces for that bubble mailer. Um, if it's maybe like the size of a bread box, and it weighs five pounds, you're gonna to wanna to add probably a pound or two for packing, you know, the box, the packing materials, all that stuff. So know what it weighs, put it in there. You're not gonna lose a bunch of money. I mean, I learned the hard way when I first started selling, you know, putting in a flat cost of what I thought it would, you know, cost to ship something and then somebody in California bought it and it was like $20 extra and I had to pay that. So that's really good advice. I would also say start small. So when you're starting out, like don't go spend hundreds of dollars on inventory. You know what I mean? Like just do one or two things at a time. You don't need a ton of stuff. Like you really learn this by doing it. You know what I mean? It's kind of the best way to do it. Like just do a little bit at a time and you'll slowly grow and get better. But you don't want to jump in the deep end and buy like a big pallet of stuff for like a thousand dollars just because you know, you're still learning, you know, you don't really know what to buy yet. So just take it slow and update us on your progress. Wish you the best of luck. All right, first thing I'm shipping is in B4. It's an Xbox game, The Sims Bustin' Out. That sold for $7.99 for shipping. Next is in B5, and I know I sold a number of things out here, so I'm just gonna pull the whole bin. Got a bunch of ornaments from Kevin the Tennessee Picker, and I went ahead and listed all of them yesterday because with Christmas approaching, if I don't sell them <laughs> before the end of the year, I'm probably gonna have them for like another 10 or 11 months. So I wanted to get all those listed. And a good number of them sold. The first one is this Millennium Falcon. This sold for $17.99 plus shipping. Your name Brian got this. Brian, thank you for the support. Hope you like the ornament. Okay, I also sold a Star Trek ornament in here. I think it's this big one right here. Uh, Space Station Deep Space Nine, like lights up, has sounds and everything. That sold for $39.99 plus shipping. Sold another Star Trek ornament out of here. Um, let's see. Somewhere in here. Here it is. Uh, this is USS Enterprise. This also lights up. This sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Saw a Star Wars ornament. Let's see. This one. The Death Star. That sold for $34.99 plus shipping. I made a lot of six sports ornaments. Right in here. There's a couple Richard Petty. I think there's like... Two Emmett Smiths and two Cowrickin Juniors. They sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Sold another Star Trek ornament. This is the Doctor from Star Trek Voyager. That sold for $11.99 plus shipping. And that is it for the ornaments. All right, next thing I'm pulling is back an F1. Let's get this rack out of the way. This is an old Oster Airjet hairdryer. Thought it looked cool. Bought it at a garage sale like over a year ago for a dollar. Had it listed for like 20 bucks, wasn't selling, lowered it to 15, wasn't selling, lowered it to $10, finally sold uh, for $9.99 plus shipping. Next is down A5. It is this right here. Um, instant facelift gold collection. Something I got from uh, Mike. Got about $5 into this, sold for $29.99 plus shipping. Next order has two items, one's in B6. It is a Lord of the Rings. Let's see here. I'm guessing I sold more than one thing out of here too. So I'm just gonna leave this open. Um, I know the first thing I sold is this Gimli Lord of the Rings character figure. Let's see, I sold something else out of C1 that's going with that order. Another Lord of the Rings figure. It is Merry and Pippin and an orc. So these two together sold for $31.98 plus shipping. Okay, also in B6, I sold a Hot Wheel. This is a Custom Rods, Rodzilla, I'm sorry, Cadzilla. This sold for $22.99 plus shipping. And that is it for B6. Next is up here in C10. It is a Funko Pop. 
right here. Peter Gibbons from Office Space. That sold for $5.99 plus shipping. Your name Ryan got this. Ryan, thank you for the support. It means a lot. Next order has two items. First is an A1. This is a Dub City uh, Fire Department Chevy Impala Super Sport. That sold for $10.99 plus shipping. And next is an E8. This right here. 1960 Chevy Impala. Really cool blue color to it. That sold for $34.99 plus shipping. Your name Adrian bought both of those. Adrian, thank you for the business. Hope you like those cars. All right, next is in C7. It's a Tony Stewart die cast. This one right here. I've got $2 into that. Sold for $9.99 plus shipping. Your name Randy got this die cast. Randy, thanks for the support, man. Hope you like the car. Next is in C3 right here. This is a Wilson glove, the Kirby Pucket model, RIP Kirby. This sold for $9.99 plus shipping. It's Friday morning, I have eight eBay orders to ship out. First thing I've already got prepped, ready to go right here. This is a driver I bought from Kevin the Tennessee Picker, a Ping G15, that sold for $49.99 plus shipping. Next thing's an A1, it's a lot of watches. Got these from Danny and Parker, I did three auctions. Uh, this one is 50 watches, started at a dollar, sold for $40 plus shipping. Next thing's in B6. It is an ornament. Uh, let's see. I think it's that one right there. This is It's a Wonderful Life. The box had a little bit of damage, so that hurt the value a little bit, but it still sold for $17.99 plus shipping. Next is over here in B5, right next to it. It is a Barbie Harley Davidson ornament. This one sold for $9.99 plus shipping. Next we're coming to C2. Another Harley ornament. This is a Santa one that sold for $11.99 plus shipping. Next is in D3. This is a little handheld Olympus uh, recorder. Got this up in Cleveland for $4. It sold for $16.99 free shipping. You were named Bobby bought that. He says, hey, John, the cap guy here. Think this would be fun to have and use with my show. YouTuber trying to get to a thousand subs. Take care. Merry Christmas to you and your family. Bobby, thank you so much for the support. Wish you nothing but the best of luck with YouTube. Okay, next is more watches over here in A2. Once again, this was 50 watches that I did an auction with. We sold for $41 plus shipping. And last thing I'm shipping out is down in E5. It is a stapler. This one right here. Let's see, one of these chargers goes with it too. I want to make sure I get the right one because I think I got two chargers. I got a bunch of these at a garage sale. Like there was a whole big box of them. Maybe like... 15 or 20 staplers. This thing is cool too. Like it'll staple 70 pages at once. This sold for $29.99 plus shipping. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. <laughs>